one of the things that I really like about being on YouTube is that we can form friendships here. Not only that, but we can learn new things from each other. We can share our different ideas. And you know what? We can also debate different ideas. Some people out there might even say that we're fueling conspiracy theories. But you know what? The mature-minded people will question and debate about our ideas on these things that we think are conspiracy theories. This past weekend, I watched a great video. Is van life coming to an end? And in Dave's video, he talks about a vaccine passport or what they call, so call proof of vaccine immunization card. Dave asks the question, what is the possible impact on van life or RV camping and traveling type of life? What is the effect is that going to have on us? So I'm going to put the link to Dave's video at the end of my video. And hey, hey, just wait, Dave, where are you going? Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, hey, Dave, where are you going? Where are you going? Wait, 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 Dave, Dave, Dave. Oh my God. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. We, we got an appearance by you. Just wait. Hold it. Dave. Dave. You're like everywhere. You're... You know what? Are you trying to take over my channel, Dave? So I think before I show you my proof of what's going on and what's happening, let's check out what the news has to say about some of this crap. In Quebec City, where the provincial government is moving ahead on plans for an immunity passport, digital proof given to people who get the coronavirus vaccine. John Northcott is leading off our coverage on this issue. John, lots of controversy around this kind of document, including in Quebec. We got that first confirmation yesterday from a Quebec officials. Yeah, indeed. Manitoba mentioned this as well, Heather. This is a situation where perhaps a vaccine passport might be the way to go, whether or not international travel into this country, interprovincial travel potentially, but also within certain industries. In other words, where you have a workforce uh, that could be endangered by this, everyone has a vaccine passport, and then they show that to be able to be allowed to work. Now, issues around that, but first, let's listen to the Quebec Health Minister. I don't see why we could not have, as I mentioned earlier, what we call the QR code, you know, that we have on our boarding pass when, when we fly or... So I think it's just normal that we go there. I think in preparation for that, we ask our IT people, but also on public health, what are the conditions that we could have to make sure that when you're being issued a QR code, you're really vaccinated and that can be quite helpful. So first and foremost, there's no way at this point in time that I'm getting any freaking vaccine. Uh, only once I got a shot for my health and I was so sick from getting the flu shot that I was almost off work for a week and I felt the effects for a month. I just, yeah, it, it did me in. So I'm not going through that crap again. So the first thing you got to ask yourself is, this vaccine hasn't been approved, but you're putting it on your body. What is the long-term effects on you? So let's put that aside for a minute there. So how is that going to affect us on cross-border crossings, getting a passport or a QR code, as they say? Well, you know what? You can't pass a border or what happens between provinces. You can't pass between provinces? Possible. What about community services? For instance, if you're van lifing or RV lifing and you need to use use of a shower or to pick up water in that, so you can't enter without a passport or car code? Blah, blah, blah. And as there is talk, what about sporting events? You can't go into a sporting event, hockey game, concert your favorite music concerts playing and you want to go and oh sorry you haven't been vaccinated you can't come shopping mall what about entry into shopping mall oh sorry they scan your code when you get into the mall and uh, you're not allowed because uh, you haven't had the ping 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 you haven't been poked the biggest one is 
you know what? Do we really know what's in there? And you know what? Let's go here. Moderna website. See? That's Moderna, the company that makes one of the va vaccines. And what does it say about their vaccine? Moderna vaccine has not been approved or licensed by the U.S. Food and Drug Authorization, um, but has been authorized for emergency use under the FDA and emergency youth use authorization to prevent corona disease for individuals, blah, 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 blah. At, and it says there is no FDA approved vaccine to prevent corona or woohoo virus or China virus, whatever you want to freaking call it. So I did tell my partner in crime there, she wants me to get the vaccine, but I said, no, I'm not going to get it. So she's worried that I won't be able to travel and she's going to be able to. So, but we'll see how that maps out yet. That is unsurety yet. So is that what's going to happen? We're going to get fines and regulations for us not wanting to take a vaccine? Is that going to come? But what about my story? Is it happening already? Well, you know what? I have undeniable proof that it looks like it's heading to that direction. Okay, I hope this comes in clear enough. We can turn a light on if you want. So this is the paper of the new rules that has come in effect at our work. And let's uh, read it off on you and show you what they got going. Health check update. Attention all associates, you must show the results of your whole health check before entering the store. So what they're doing is step one, you have to go onto the provincial government website and upload this app. It's a tracing app is what it is. You have to complete the app, your health check on that app, and what it does is send you a health code, which is a QR code. And then when you go to work, you have to show the results at the designate, oh, you have to show the results of you, the associate, upon arriving work before entering the store. And basically what it says is if you don't fill out this form, this tracing app, and you don't get a QR code, you've been denied, you don't come to work. Right there. You cannot enter work and you won't be able to work without this QR code. And this here is what the site looks like. So British Columbia, the province of government, Thrive Health. So they give you support app and assessment tool and then download the app blah 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 so that's basically what it is and you have to get that on your phone and I have to show it at my work and they give you like I said a uh, code and you show it at work before you enter and the same thing content provided by BC Minister of Health in partnership with Thrive Health so every morning when I get off work at 6 o'clock all my co-workers are all lined up outside waiting for management to scan their QR code to give them permission to come to work. And this happens every morning and is going to be happening for the foreseeable future. And don't get me wrong, I don't blame the company I work for for this. I blame the government. And the thing is, they're talking about also doing this with customers that might be being pushed through so whenever a customer will have to line up wait outside get a scan and then come in and do their shopping that is on the agenda right now or is already passed through and I don't know <sighs> what is next you have to scan a QR code and say you've been immunized before you can come into my place of work? That's a possibility. Or what about, like I said before, the shopping malls, anywhere else? Hey, this, it's like this motor's not working proper. Let's try. Sorry, just ch testing while I'm talking. Anyhow, yeah, that might be coming next, where we have to scan in to go to a mall or to a football game or to your child's soccer game. 
I just don't trust the government anymore because our freedoms are being taken away slowly but surely. And uh, how does that affect van life, RV life, travel life? Well, maybe you can't travel from one place to another anymore without having your little passport code. Like Dave says in his videos, if I'm sleeping in a parking lot, am I gonna be checked on? Do you have your passport? Do you have your, have you been immunized? Well, you know what? We're gonna fine you for being in the parking lot. We're gonna place fines for this and that. So that's, who knows? Whoa, that was crazy. You know what, what the hell's going on? This thing is possessed. It's the Corona possessing my uh, gimbal. Anyhow, my friends, I'm gonna link Dave's channel and you know what? Something to think about. It's happening to me. It could happen to you guys. It can happen to all of us. So you know what? Cheers. Check out Dave's channel, his video. See what he has to say on this subject. And you know what? Until next time, I hope you guys have a better day, an awesome week, and we'll see you next time. Stay awesome and cheers.